Don't know really why yet, but I'm going to cut it anyway. What's going on guys? We're back with another video here today and I'm actually sitting on the ground because today we're actually gonna be doing something that you guys have all been waiting for, at least I've been waiting for, which is the CAE shifter. Um, so that is, oh boy, right here. So what is this and why is it important? This is probably the most ridiculous, most expensive, just short throw shifter you can buy on the market, but it is race car. It is 100% race car. There's no doubt about it. Uh, these guys got their start actually on BMWs, I believe, but this is all solid mounted. So each shift is gonna be crisp, it's gonna be short, and you're gonna have a great feel to the car. Uh, this retails for right around, I think I picked it up for 1100 bucks. This is a part that you touch every day in the car. It's kind of like your steering wheel, right? You want something there that's satisfying, uh, that, I don't know, it just improves the driving experience. So CA shifter, I'm holding that up in front of my face. I'll let you know whether or not it's worth it, but uh, for right now, we're gonna get into the first thing I know I need to do is remove all the surround around the shifter itself. So what we're gonna do is start popping off panels, take you through it step by step. What I've heard is that getting the shifter in isn't an issue. It's adjusting it to the car that will provide maybe a little bit of a challenge. So we'll see when we dive in. Roll that intro, stick around. <laughs> your video? So the first panel you gotta remove is actually up here. I'm just gonna use, again, you can buy this off Amazon, it does not come with a kit. This is a plastic panel removal tool. You can use a screwdriver, but you are gonna scratch the living hell out of your car. So buy one of these, really simple. Down, up. That is actually really easy. So that just pops, you're gonna go underneath, pop it out, slide it out. This one's now out of the car. Go to the other side. All right, so we wanna make sure to pop this off. This just kind of pulls right out. Uh, the next thing you wanna do after you move that first panel that we took off over there is pop, pop off this whole section. And this whole section is actually connected. So it's not like the other side. So you can use your pry tool. I went from the top and popped out. Seemed to work pretty well right here. And then I popped out a little bit on this side. I'm gonna show you the underside and where these clips are. Um, but there we go, we pulled this back. It's actually all coming off now, hold on. There you go. So underneath, we didn't break anything, which is awesome for once. So you have a pop clip here, one up here. And you have two much stronger ones on this side. Okay, toss that down here. It's having us actually remove this passenger airbag panel. So we're gonna use a pry tool again. It is really hard to do this with one hand. There it goes. Oh, I had to take a quick break there. This clip, or this piece right here is an absolute pain in the ass. Um, so there's one clip here. There's another large one right here, and this is the one that gets stuck. So essentially what you need to do, because I'm not doing it again, is use your pry tool. You'll definitely need a pry tool. Go in, and then pry straight down. Do not take out the other side. Only do it from one side first, pry it out, and then it'll pop out the rest. So it should. So now that is out, just gonna unplug and then get the rest. So you have one clip, two, three, and four. What you wanna do is start from the left side, pop the first one out and use your pry tool. Where's my pry tool? Use your pry tool to get in there and pop this second one out. Then these two will release. So 
Don't try to do it all at once. I did that for about 10, 15 minutes. It did not work. Start on one side and the rest should pop out from the other side. Next step, guys, is you actually have to remove these bolts right here. One, two, and three. And as usual, I'm using the wrong tool for the job. Uh, what you really should have is a Torx bit uh, to get in there. I'm using a screwdriver because I'm too lazy to go in the back of my car and try to find my torque set. So just unscrew these. This whole panel should then pop off the camera and then we're going to be able to start unbolting the shifter, hopefully. So again, to get this off, it's really not that difficult. I've been out here for right around 30 minutes. This panel was the biggest pain in the ass. This one, you only had three bolts. Um, so you might think you have to remove this whole center console and it could make it a little bit easier. Um, I'm gonna find out right now as I go to install my shifter. But for now, if you look down there, one, two, three, and there's one on the other side. I have access to all four bolts from right here. So it's possible to do this without removing uh, the entire center. Let's see if we can get it done. Uh, when you remove the entire center, you actually have to pull these bolts out as well. So if you're trying to pull out everything, it's gonna be this bolt and this bolt over here. Uh, to get this one off really isn't that difficult. So I know people struggle to get these off. Uh, so just pull off this panel right here and you're all set. So we're gonna get working on getting these four bolts out uh, so I can get my new CAE shifter in. So what we're gonna do is have, we're gonna have to pop off uh, the shifter cables uh, to figure out how to do that. And then there's some adjustments that need to happen, but I'm gonna keep chugging along. What we're gonna do next is release whoop, these cables from the shifter itself. So I'm just gonna get my pry tool. Should just pop off. Come on, there it goes. That's one loose. Get the other one. There's two. So we are completely free now. Uh, make sure you're in neutral when you do this so you know what gear you're in. Um, all right, so before I pull this out of the car, I wanna get a before and after. Keep in mind, I already have a JBR short shifter on there set to full max, which I think is it's at least a 50% reduction. Uh, so my throws are already pretty short. This will make it even shorter. So let's go into first, one, two, three, four, five, six. So next up, the instructions actually tell you to cut this center panel. I'm just using a large pair of scissors. You can use a Dremel, whatever you want. It's gonna be interesting to kind of see if I can get this side as well. Um, don't know really why yet, but I'm going to cut it anyway. Uh-oh. Look at all this room for activities. Look at this. All right, so there's a better visual. I mean, who needed that piece anyway? So there's a better visual of what those cables look like under there. There's one, there's two, and all you have to do is push those forward and they pop out of their little holders, which you can kind of see under there. So if you ever wonder what the inside of your center console looks like, this is it. And then there's your uh, RCM, so your restraint control module down there if you ever need to replace that. But So right now, uh, the next thing I have to do is actually remove the shifter and then I can kind of cut 
uh, those two handle things. What we are doing right now, guys, we're loosening the, I have, I'm using a 5 16th, don't know if that's correct, but it's working. Uh, there's gonna be four of these bolts. Once you get these four bolts done, we're actually gonna cut open these plastic tabs over here. Uh, but uh, yeah, so we're just gonna keep screwing this shit, and I'll check it back in with you guys in a few. Probably what you guys want to do is have a 10 inch on hand, a 10 inch extension on hand. These bolts are pretty far down there. You don't want to get everything ripped apart and then have to put it all back together again. They only to drive to the hardware store, so. Should be everything. So this is your stock shifter, and this whoop, is what we're gonna be replacing with. <laughs> and this is what we're going to be replacing it with. So excited to get this in the car against four bolts, and then you have to do a bunch of adjustments. So hopefully the adjustment goes pretty well. We're gonna slide this one in, bolt it in, and be all done. All right, so what we're doing to get these off, as instructed by the manual, can you have some metal I'm just gonna call them clamps, that's not what they are, but you have some metal pieces that go on this end instead of the plastic, giving you better shifter feel. I am just using a pair of tin snips. So your best bet is probably a Dremel. Um, that's probably gonna be your easiest options, but right now I'm using rusty tin snips. So just go show you can use anything to kind of get the shit off. Um, pli pliers did not work when I tried them. If you're gonna need something to actually cut in, because this is, I'm gonna say molded or adhered in a way that you need to kind of cut it off. So you can see we got one of them almost all the way off. I'm just gonna have to peel back some of this plastic. I left it on to kind of show you guys what we were doing. Next one, more or less the same story. Um, it's just gonna be a pain in the ass, guys. It's gonna take you probably 15 to 30 minutes to get this off, but I do believe it's worth it to get the metal bearings on there, or metal clamp pieces on. This little fucking thing. So when you guys go to install this in your car, uh, again, you get these plastic pieces off, and what you're gonna run into is the same thing myself and another YouTuber ran into, is that basically these housings, I'll call them, do not fit directly over the cables. So what I'm doing right now is I'm actually sanding down each one of these cables with 60 grit sandpaper, little by little, getting it to fit snug, because again, you don't want this to be loose. Uh, but it's a big pain in the ass. So don't be afraid if these do not fit. Don't freak out. Don't cut anything. Just slowly sand it down until it fits. Uh, that's the best piece of advice I can give. We're about to slip them on. It's almost ready to go. Get the rest of the shifter in the car and then just be done because it's about to be dark. So tomorrow's going to be full of adjustments, making sure that everything lines up, goes into gear properly and everything. But right now we're just going to get the shifter in the car and wrap up that part of the install. So right now we're just putting these set pins in. Uh, so again, you want this to line up. There's two, you can see, let me line it up right there. There's two indents in the cable itself. So that's where you want those two pins to fall. Once you get those two line up, you can see it from the top. I would put a shirt down uh, just like we did here in case one of those pins fall and you'll lose it forever. So put something down to catch everything just in case. Again, that's gonna wrap up today guys and we'll check in with you guys tomorrow. Oh, that's why you have to cut that out. It has to go through.
Uh -oh. Now we're done. Installed.